I backed a bunch of stuff. I used to really like this. Yeah, everyone used to really like. I got most of until, it. I like legitimately. You know, ended yeah, even up the Neptune getting... Pine, for better or for worse, did actually <laughs> arrive. Yeah, yeah. I uh, mean, I did get a Jibo. <laughs> the coal bar hammer. Okay, can I share your screen now? Uh, yes. I still don't know where their like comments are, so it might take me a second. Last okay. updated right, February fifth, twenty twenty. No. They're still going. They're still going. Oh my goodness. Back in the saddle is the update. And these updates are so long. Wow, I mean it looks like some legit. You but know, they always updates. have. It's been so long. It's so much information. We have a major announcement in the weeks ahead. Amazing perseverance <laughs> is the top comment. <laughs> Oh, wow. Seven-year-old Kickstarter. They're still going. What are you doing? Just give up and run away with my money at this point. Oh, man. I love that Timothy Perkins is asking, will you need additional funding in order <laughs> to fulfill the pledges? Are you really going to send them more money at this point? Thanks for the update. Sorry to hear about your family. I wish I could believe this was going to lead to actual progress after nearly a decade. Sadly, my optimism is rather low. Let's see how many months we wait for the next update, and I'll still take my $65 back to walk away from what many see as a sham. Yeah. I mean, if it was, honestly, I don't buy it. I don't, there's no way it's a scam. I don't think it's a- Cause, cause they're not collecting money anymore. No. Why continue the charade? There are plenty of other Kickstarters. Yes. I, I think I backed three. One of them was just like, go away. <laughs> it was like it was some like cookbook thing, and it was supposed to be like a like uh, entertainingly written cookbook. Um, I don't remember. It was it was funny when I read the thing, and it was super cheap. So I was Got like, it. yeah, whatever. Okay. Um, and I was like really into cooking at that time. And some of the recipes looked pretty cool. So I backed that, and then he wrote like a single page, and then was just like, I'm done, and just ran with the money. And How do you manage like, to screw that well, up? Well, I don't know. Because like, that has potential, like long-term business opportunity. And okay, if you think potential. about the difficulty behind this, yeah. he could have absolutely just taken like three or four other cookbooks, and just taken a quarter from each one, and just rewritten it in a funny way, yeah. and been done. Like it's yeah. not a difficult project. And it's like. Kickstarter, so like who was gonna call him on it? Yeah, like you, you should have originality. Yes, but but also like if he was just gonna half-ass it Exactly, there were ways to half-ass it in a way that yeah the customer gets that something. was a little bit more than like a single page yeah. I think he released the one recipe or something. I don't even remember <laughs> one recipe. But it was just stupid the single recipe cookbook. But this 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 is update 88 <laughs> It's been going on for seven years. I bought this for my dad for Christmas. I mean, at this point, it's more like it's more like Patreoning like a blog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A An blog about blog. making a hammer. Yeah, like a mechanical engineering blog about making a hammer. That's effectively what you've done. Have you gotten your money's worth? Have you gotten enough entertainment Honestly, from the blog out posts? Out of the recurring Christmas jokes, every time Christmas comes around, <laughs> there's the like, hey, am I getting my like Where's hammer my thing? hammer? Yeah, yeah. That might be worth it alone right there. Oh my goodness. So silly. What were some of your other bad experiences? Let's see. Let's go through here. Um... I actually think everything I ever backed did ultimately get delivered. Yeah, um, there was a few games that I backed that like, Oof. some of them turned out to be pretty, pretty good. I backed Massive, Chal Massive Chalice, that was a pretty good game. Seven Days to Die, that actually worked out. Um, Frontiers, I was really excited for, didn't really work out, that kind of sucked. Exploding Kittens, that, yeah. was, that was pretty cool. Light Sail, that was awesome, that was really cool. Um, you know, that was, I mean, that was awesome. Um, All right, I've got, yeah, uh, I've know. got, I've got mine up here. So uh, here, let me just fire this up. So these are, to be clear, I have, I don't think I've ever actually personally backed a Kickstarter. Like something that I would, that I was like really like, oh wow, I need to have that for, oh, nope, I lied. Nope, I totally half lied. I backed Shovel Knight. Divinity Original Sin, 
uh, and Strike Suit Zero. All of those games I really liked. Those oh. were like big wins in my in my book. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. That's actually that's like kind of an outstanding game back and, and record. Project Eternity. I backed that as well, which was I was also good? a big fan of. So I'm like th from the the there was a lot of games that went up on Kickstarter that flopped pretty hard, and I did back probably the two or three of those. Okay. But honestly, in the like early purchase discount price that you would get on Discord or uh, Discord Kickstarter from the other ones, I probably saved money in the end anyways. Wow. All so right. So it kind of worked out. All right, here, I want to check my, where do you, shoot, why am I not, oh yeah, here we go. Here's, here's all the Star, projects. Okay, so, yeah. someone just, a bunch of people in chat are bringing up Star Citizen, because it's like the hammer. <laughs> Is that, kick, was that Kickstarter though? That was Kickstarter. Was it? Okay, yeah, yes. So Kickstarter. technically, yeah. I also backed that. There I, is playable. I still. There's this French dude on YouTube. Yeah. Who makes uh, video montages of him just flying spaceships around planets, and it's actually amazing. Like in Star Citizen? Yeah. Oh. Like right. it's very cool. Um, I don't know if okay. I can find his channel right now. All right, so here, I'll go through the stuff that, uh, the stuff that I backed through work though. Uh, view your everyday smart glasses. I have no idea what ultimately <laughs> Okay, this is, this is a little shifted because we were like purposely backing things that we knew would be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so like, <laughs> I was at least trying to aim for good things. Uh, all right, this has an update from uh, a month ago. What? Coronavirus, something, something, something. We have fulfilled thousands of units. Okay. Did we, Where's did we yours? get these? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe we got it and I just didn't notice because, like, wow, who cares? Yeah. Uh, Vinci, the first smart headphones with artificial <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> Why did I back this? Uh, I remember this. Software update. Okay, apparently this like actually did did become a thing. Okay, cool. I apparently didn't notice because I didn't care. <laughs> the Spud, this did eventually ship. It was terrible. Spontaneous pop-up display. Yeah, yeah, I reviewed it. Like I, I got a unit and reviewed it, and it was it was. Oh bad. yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna recognize any of these until we see the picture. Yeah. Uh, Neura headphones that learn and adapt to your unique hearing. I I doubt that ever got delivered. Let's see, how do we do here? Okay, apparently you can just like buy these now. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, and cool. they have a Gen 2. Okay, good for them. Wow, so my record is pretty good. The Power Up FPV was actually pretty sweet. Um, oh, yeah. Yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Live streaming paper airplane thing. I mean, it was terrible, but like in like a cool, like kitschy, this is kind of fun, terrible way. Yeah. Bunch of balloons. Those are in like every dollar store on. Earth, like every toy store on Earth. That now. was a that was a good idea. It to was, be honest, it was kind of a brilliant idea. Um, I've actually purchased them aside from this Kickstarter backing, That's... and we used this for Channel Super Fun back in 2015. Yeah. Yep. Moment smartwatch. Hard flying. I want to bring this up because like, Star Citizen has been in a bit of a bad way, and I've talked very negatively about it, and I think it deserves yeah. a fair amount of that. I think the Moment smartwatch um, didn't end up making it. But there is some cool stuff happening. Oh, uh, the Pono player. I remember the Pono player. Oh, that was an epic video. Yeah, I knew that was going to be delivered. Uh, I knew it was going to be Kano? Stupid. They started on Kickstarter? I believe so, yeah. They're totally a thing. Yeah, they're, they're definitely a thing now. So yeah, we actually did all right. Two Neptune core duo. Pie. Oh, this one was amazing. This thing looked so cool. This was one that I was legit super excited for for myself. What is this? Um, it was like a tube oh. amplified Bluetooth speaker that's Wi-Fi enabled, runs XBMC, and can stream music and HD movies. Three hundred and thirty-eight backers. Last updated April fourth, twenty sixteen. Never came out. Finally, production electronics will begin to arrive this week. Oh yeah, how'd that work out for you? Not too great. All right. So. I want to show this guy off, actually. Okay. Um, All right. Hopefully we don't get copyright strike. Hopefully Whoops. he's fine. Um, Tarada, he doesn't have very many subscribe. Well, I mean, for a Star Citizen creator, I think he's doing great. Sorry, I didn't mean to <laughs> dig him on that. I'm Ouch. just saying, Ouch. go subscribe to him because it's he makes really cool what stuff. A savage. And I think the the goal of Star Citizen, Star Citizen, so I can't talk today, um, of making this like really cool space sandbox for people is being realized in people like. Tarada, to be completely honest. 
Um, and some of the stuff that he has made is, oh, stupid ads. No. Go away. Some of the stuff that he has made is just freaking awesome. Like, this looks amazing. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Too bad it's not a game. Well, okay. <laughs> here's here's hard flying, because okay. this is him playing the game. Okay. Not. Do you want to mute it just in case it's? It loud? is muted. Oh, it is muted. Oh, okay. Well, the the laptop yeah, yeah, the is muted. Is muted. Yeah. Wow, that is that is pretty cool. That's active gameplay. Wow. So All like. Right. Okay. He's making it work. There are some people making it work. I I did notice. I watched a few of these hard flying things. They're all a little similar. <laughs> okay. But it's still really cool. And these planets are like procedurally generated, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. They're also, there's like a clear amount of skill. There's no way in heck I could do this. Yeah. Oh, me neither. Like absolutely no way. And like he's doing it with track IR and joysticks and all this kind of stuff. Like it's super sick. Huh. All right. Yeah. So I actually have an update from TubeCore that was oh. not on Kickstarter, it was off-platform. Oh, okay. Um, the last update I had was in uh, August of 2017. In February, we decided that the Duo product was dead, and that its problems were too many and impossible to move past. It would have to die in order for us to find the solution, I suppose. Whatever that means. The solution is take the money and run. <laughs> no, like, they actually, like, made hardware and stuff. I see a toaster. Like, no, no, no. That's not. That's a PCB. That's okay. The toaster is for scale. You know what? Just, <laughs> don't worry about it. Like they were actually still making stuff, like three years later, and uh, see, that's that's just. I kind of want the hammer guys to do that. Do what? Like just give, give up. up. What it's is so, so difficult sad about at this the hammer? Point. Like, what is it supposed to be? Can you explain this hammer to it, me? Like, I'm sorry, guys. If we're if we're talking about this <laughs> too much, it's just. Everyone's while we come hammer. back to this topic. Yeah, it did a bunch of stuff, and ultimately, it's that it's that like you know, VCR, DVD, TV, microwave, toaster, like too many things object that you just shouldn't buy. This is it, the uh, coal bar hammer. Yes, it's the coal bar hammer. Okay. So you can you How can, hard is it to make a hammer? So you, if you see it's split down the middle. Yeah. And so it, it like you it it, it ugh. you could ratchet it out and it could become a pry bar or you could pull the two pieces completely separate and you get demo tools and a few other things. Honestly, it's so stupid now. <laughs> Stretch goal metric ruler. Um okay. It, yeah, it had a ruler down the spine. Uh -huh. I don't remember everything that it did because it's been seven years. The only hammer that turns into a full crow bar. <sighs> a patented gear ratchet system that locks into place at every click. Except it still doesn't work. Right. So. Except for that standard half inch drive to be uh, a drive, like, uh, okay. Yeah. So it like does a ton of things oh, and ratchet. my dad's really hard to shop for so I was like, cool. And like looking at it now, yeah, it's it's dumb. Certified, you lost. Date May third, twenty eleven. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> terrible. Oof. Uh, Oof. Yeah, I don't know. I've yeah. shifted my my gifting things to my dad to more like experiential stuff. Yeah, because I don't know what to, he's so not materialistic. Yeah, what could be a better experience than your son trying really hard to find <laughs> something to buy for you and then it taking seven years? That's an experience <laughs> and a half, dude. I if it does show up one day, it'll be an event. I t I'll tell you that much. Should we get back to our topic? Probably. 